Fox News, Trump addresses QAnon conspiracy theory for the first time. Quote, I heard that these are people that love our country. They don't know much about the movement besides that they like me very much, the president said. Now, CJ is saying, like, I had some crazy moment of prescience on this. Uh, CJ, I want you to explain this. But yesterday, when we were talking to Miko, and Miko was talking about how he duped people into sharing something with, uh, with, with, a, with just a headline to expose, you know, how people uh, click, you know, click and share without really reading and thinking or, or checking sources. And uh, I, I was like, oh, my gosh, I want to do that. I'm going to write an article and the headline is going to be Trump. Wait, hold on. I wrote it down. Trump explains pedophile strategy. Q fans vindicated. And I didn't do it, but CJ, you said that this this was like five or six hours before. Yeah, roughly, Trump give or take it. Press conference. So his press conference the same day, he's acknowledging the Q theory, and the story breaks down a few of his quotes about it. And uh, you know, I was sitting there looking at this headline, going, "Man, if you would have put that out, it would have been just." I mean, granted, it's documented in the show yesterday with Miko that you were going to, you know, hint at doing something like this as a ha-ha, but he, he jokes on you. He actually acknowledged it the same day, <coughs> which again, exploded the Q theory boards and vindicated in their own minds their, their expectations, and it's going crazy today. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you would have done that, yesterday you would have been actually kind of correct i mean he validates the q theory by even acknowledging it well i don't think so that's so about that i obviously i was going over the top with what's the juiciest believable you know world vindic worldview vindicating headline that a megatard could possibly want to share and that's and what Fox i came up with. did it for you I guess, but the thing is that now it's real, and now I have to come up with a new fake one to expose how dumb Magtars are. But the thing about this is he didn't actually, he didn't fulfill my headline in the sense that uh, he didn't really explain the pedophile strategy. Now, this is coming from Fox News, and I deliberately clicked the Fox links link about this because Fox is like, it, it, it's kind of... It, it's kind of a bias that I know and I trust them to be biased in a certain way, right? But here's what they said in the story about the theory itself. The QAnon conspiracy theory is centered on the baseless belief that Trump is trying to save the world by waging a secret campaign against enemies in the deep state and a child sex trafficking ring run by global elites who are satanic pedophiles and cannibals. Now, Here's the thing. This is not baseless. None, none of this is baseless. And this is why I like this. Like, I'm, I'm happy to dismiss uh, the, the, I mean, the, the, the core conclusion of the QAnon community, which is that we have to reelect Donald Trump, right? We have to support him and reelect him. That's, that's their, that's their takeaway. That's their point of all of this. And it's because even though on the surface he looks like a typical big government Republican who's really a Democrat who's you know growing government and you know doing gun control and blah 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 blah, blah all these horrific big government things oh but he's really secretly behind the scenes he's just doing all that so that he can get away with going after the deep state and the pedophiles so when they say that this is baseless, I go, well, no, it's not baseless because he because Trump has talked about the deep state. I don't has he used that term? I'm pretty sure he has. But you know, talk about draining the swamp. And so it's not baseless for someone to say, and you know, and in fact, the thing that makes QAnon sort of uh, uncredible is that they go way beyond what sort of reasonably potential here. If you're if you're pro Trump and you're hopeful and you want to paint the best picture of Trump. Well, of course, Trump is like every president, every president is going to be doing things behind the scenes to advance their agenda. 
So I think it's fair to say Trump is, although tr Trump's agenda isn't to drain the swamp. Trump's agenda was to win election by making it look like he was draining the swamp and to win re-election by making it look like he's fighting the swamp when he knows he can't and he isn't. Or he doesn't want to because he knows that the deep state is really essential to him maintaining his wealth and power, right? Who knows? Maybe they got him by the balls. Yeah, I, I like the William Cooper theory of the presidency, right? You get elected, you walk into a smoke-filled room, and they go, uh, here's the projector, the shot you've never seen of the Kennedy assassination, and you're only allowed one question. What's my agenda? Well, it's like when you got elected president and you start getting all these briefings from the CIA, that's when they explain to you well, this is how the world works, Mr. President-elect. And if you don't do this, here's what's going to happen. And they don't even have to be that directly threatening to get their point across. But, you know, against enemies in the deep state, yeah, I mean, I, the deep state is, a, the, if you, that's a real thing. The deep state of the swamp of the, the real power players in the federal federal bureaucracy who pull more strings than we're allowed to know in the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, the military. Yeah, of course, there's a deep state of operatives, you know, like Hoover, who are able to, to outlast presidents and in some ways have more power than them. Now, then here's the thing, that he's going against a child sex trafficking ring run by global elites. Okay, just I want to I do really want to break this down bit by bit because I want to give the people who are suckered by the Q-tards a little bit of credit. Like they're not falling for something that's totally out of the blue. And if you know, like Mark Twain, it's easier to fool someone than convince them they've been fooled. If you were fooled into supporting Donald Trump in the first place, then you have some sort of emotional attachment to him and to your vote, and you'd rather. Uh, Rather than incorporate new facts into your worldview, you'd rather just vindicate your worldview. Well, then, yeah, the QAnon conspiracy theory is really tempting. And it's understandable because child sex trafficking ring run by global elites. Well, we covered the story last week that there was a pedophile ring being run by CPS in Philadelphia. And so it's happening within government at levels that they're already exposing. Now, this is where a lot of the Q-tards are really dishonest and deceptive. There's, there's been a wave of uh, uh, pedophile arrests. No, there hasn't. Look at the data. It's, it's not, there's no particularly interesting trends one way or another in this. And someone's going to go, oh, but what about, look at, step back, look at the big picture. I, I mean, if anything, at this point, you could say for not having exposed it as soon as he could, Trump is complicit. Trump is one of the global elites who is running the sex trafficking ring. Yeah. And, and, and Adam, to speak to your point here, I'm going to jump further ahead in the article because uh, it, it's going to allude to And I, want, I, I was hoping you'd let me bring this up. Until Wednesday, the president has remained silent on the conspiracy, twice ignoring a question last week about whether he supports QAnon, while in 2018, then White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said Trump, quote, condemns and denounces any group that would incite violence against another individual. Incite <laughs> violence? It, is, he, is he saying that... Uh going after QAnon would be bad because they're inciting violence. No, 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 no. You're, miss, you're missing a whole bigger point yeah, okay. in this. And I know, Adam, you're, you're going to catch it. What's the bigger point in that statement? Well, there are a lot. I mean, one, that Sarah Huckabee Sanders is an idiot, but we knew that. Uh, condemns and denounces any group that would incite violence against another individual. So Sanders is here sort of throwing QAnon under the bus without having to do it directly. And so this is a significant turn for Trump now that that was the only response from 2018 till now. Still and one point. I, well, I think he's he's turning to QAnon to this is he thinks it could be his ace in the hole for reelection. Do you think that Donald Trump really denounces groups that incite violence against another oh, individual. No, it's not. it's, it's yeah, like this, yeah, this, is, this is a politically correct throwaway line from a White House press secretary. Right, but again, I understand it's a throwaway line, but he's still stamping it like 
that but we went over it yesterday government is racketeering it is theft it is violence at the end of a barrel saying you will comply uh so the government itself incites violence against oh, individuals yeah, so yeah there's there's an obvious hypocrisy here Correct. So I'm just I, I that to me was the bigger point that they're trying to perpetuate this worldview like they're some innocent entity and, and they're vaguely associating with a group called QAnon for political reasons. That's I mean, the QAnon has been associated with murder, kidnappings. Uh, I mean, there's the, the, I mean, these are not, this is not just like Miko brought up yesterday, the woman that went to the USS Mer, USNS Mercy uh, to, to uh, with knives saying kids were being trafficked into there from tunnels. I mean, the train conductor that tried to crash into the comfort. I mean, these are not groups that are, are promoting nonviolence there. It's not like they have a non-aggression principle built into their platform or, ideology. Yeah, or, and, and they're not saying, let's just let Trump do his thing and support him politically. Ta-da. So now, okay, so I see your point here is, is it, it kind of, it, it, it contributes to, 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 I think, what I'm making as the bigger observation, <clears throat> and I appreciate you pointing this out, that, again, this is like the ace in the hole Trump is using for 2020, and I think what he's doing by rallying this most hardcore delusional part of his base is going to be to get them to do more of what you're saying, CJ, and that they're not they're not condemning based on on that. They're saying you know like there are very fine people on on both sides, but I, I do want to get back to to the theory itself here, where um, it, it's uh, a t run by global elites who are satanic pedophiles and cannibals so the, the satanic pedophiles and cannibals is kind of tacked on here like it's sort of just let's demonize and make this whole thing seem absurd but it's actually really not that out there even in itself when you break it down now cannibals i don't know i don't i don't see any significance or you know, uh, evidence of, of cannibalism being some widespread problem. Maybe there's some crazy thing that the QAnons have discovered that I haven't. But now that satanic, goes into the Hillary Clinton eating entrails and adrenochrome. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was, what was that? With Uma Abedin on Anthony Weiner's laptop. That's what that all goes back to. Yeah. Was it specter spirit, something spiriting yeah uh, anyway but like who cares you know uh, are they satanic or not satan doesn't exist well why do you care if they believe in some other imaginary god or anti-god my, my <laughs> satanist yeah. friends are actually more pissed off that they're not inserting catholic priests in the catholic church into this instead of satanic yes yes yeah. now you know if i may ask about your satanic friends there cj these All are these are of them that i know of they're, they're not they're not people saying we are bad people let's worship something bad and evil right they're, it's really a way of embracing science and objectivism and sticking a finger in the eye of christianity right pretty much it's it's a counterbalance to christianity they they view satan as an a luminary figure not a evil entity but yeah they get offended by this language they're like hold up wait a minute we're not cannibals we don't practice baby ritual sacrifice. I mean, if you want to look at pedophilia, go look at the Catholic Church. There's way more Catholic priests in America. Did in fact, I would bet there's more pedophilia priests and 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 clergy in this country than there are satanic people, let alone. Well, I, I just okay, pro tip for people who haven't figured it out yet: most people who identify in America as Satanists don't actually worship the devil. Uh, but uh, just back to the Q thing and Trump in the bigger picture here, I want to end with uh, uh, some predictions. Um, so, and for people who don't know the background, Fox has you covered. The conspiracy theory emerged on a notoriously racist and sexist 4chan message board in late 2017, but has crept into mainstream politics. Trump has retweeted QAnon promoting accounts dozens of times, and its followers flocked to his rallies wearing clothes and hats with QAnon symbols and slogans. And like, I, I want to point out, like in the, in the bigger picture, this is really the ultimate delusion of politics that any politician could ever hope for. 
And I got to say, you know, I think Trump's slipping. And I can actually slip it. But he's a genius. Like, I mean, like, he's, he's a real, like, he, this shit didn't happen around him by accident that he beat all these other candidates for the Republican primary and convinced the Republican Party to nominate a former Democrat socialist from New York City as their nominee. Uh, but even to, to beat Hillary Clinton, to edge her out in the electoral vote while losing the popular vote, he's not dumb. And, and so if you're a politician... What do you want more than anything else? You want your supporters to look at you and say, no matter what he does, I'm going to support him. So if you can make there be a conspiracy theory that says everything you're doing that's criminal and normal and public as a politician is just covered because you're trying to do the right thing behind the scenes, well, shit, you can get away with anything. And that's why that's why we have these maggots hearts. People, and, and, and I think if you're a QAnon supporter, you might have been suckered into that but it does kind of turn you into a megatard where you're like, yeah, but Trump, no matter what. So the conspiracy theory emerged on a notoriously racist and sexist 14 message board in 2017, but has crept into mainstream politics. Trump has retweeted QAnon promoting accounts dozens of times and its followers flock to his rallies wearing clothes and hats with QAnon symbols and slogans. And by the way, there's, there's one other thing that we, we haven't mentioned so far is that how this came out is supposedly from uh, from Trump uh, or from sorry, from from some Trump supporters uh, in, in various parts of the administration who can't come out publicly, who are dropping these huge drops, these little notes. And and, and it's like uh, like sprinkles on the sprinkles of bullshit all over the Internet. <coughs> and, I mean, I'm like. This this strategy, I think, is going to be used again. I don't think we've seen the last of it. But my prediction here is that with Trump coming out about this as he has just yesterday, you're going to see a lot more re on the Internet, like re, like autistic screeching. You're going to see a lot more of the violence. You're going to see the craziness of, of the Q-tards and the Magatards coming out. And this is how Trump is at least able to energize his base despite being 11 points behind in the polls to Biden. Jim, CJ, any any other predictions or is that is it CJ is that where you really is where where you see this one going? I see that this is Trump playing to the like you said the more mentally ill, the ones that will fall for the headline media the ones that are looking for their confirmation bias they want to believe so badly that trump is this en enigmatic figure that is all good all knowing all seeing it, it will defend the, the the innocent and stand up you know and for righteous causes but in all honesty you know i i think that there's a cognitive dissonance here that says you are not looking at things critically you you alluded to it you said that there's not like this uptick in huge cases and there are still your average normal bus that you find i mean we the stories trickle out here and there but it's not like maxwell right but it's not like you're seeing massive raids and floods and then to the QAnon theory is saying children to the tunes of hundreds of th or, or tens of thousands are being uh trafficked in underground tunnels and being saved by paramilitary secret forces that Donald Trump is directing from the Oval Office. And, the, and you know, you're just like, no, man, there would be leaked footage. There would be whistleblowers. There would be media leaks. There would be all these things that has happened throughout history with anything. Um, and, and uh, you know, again, I think it's all just to placate to that base in order to maintain the support. I think that there are going to have a lot of problems when Ghislaine Maxwell actually gets to testify and then it's going to come to a head. I mean, there's a lot of mental gymnastics in his relationship with Epstein and what it might have been. There's a lot of hypocrisies from the right when they condemn people on the left. And and so, I like I said, I just think that now is the time to sell your stock in both parties and vote for the safe bet. The only candidate that was not on Epstein's flight out of the top major three is Joe Jorgensen. So 
play it safe and and vote for a not accused pedophile and and i think you'll be right every time so with that being yeah. said our guest is in studio stay tuned all right so just a quick thing to wrap up this segment then uh unless jim you have you have any burning insights or comments to share uh, no, not really. I can go with some comments. Uh, Hollywood is still involved is what, uh, Damonium Venator says. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Hollywood is a, is a large monster with the CIA, he says, and Disney and the Clintons. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Uh, no, so my, I, my, I, I, sorry. I was say my only thought on this, as you guys were talking about it, Trump never really says anything about the pedophilia or about what QAnon is doing. He essentially just said QAnon loves their country. Like that's the most general, you know what I mean? It's like, it's almost like, cause he knew the QAnon supporters would take that as support, but everybody else would just take that as some sentence awesome. that they're not even going to remember tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. No, this is, that's part of Trump's sloppy Plan. messaging genius. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, so, he's not I, done. Just to wrap things up, I'm reminded of the old saying in the Libertarian Party that we one of the things that we do to make fun of ourselves, they, we say in the uh, Republican and Democrats parties, they take their crazies and they put them in the back of the office and they make them lick envelopes. In the Libertarian Party, we take our crazies and we put, in fr put them front and center and run them for office. <laughs> and I, I think about I think about the the the, the, Dem the Republicans uh, or the right likes to make fun of the left for being crazier, and and uh, you know it's one thing when you can seriously point out like hey I think your political orientation is based on a mental health disorder, uh, you know and it's it's usually authoritarian personality or uh, subservient personality disorder that that leads you to statism. Uh, some some version of subservience and having been beaten down psychologically. But now that Donald Trump, a former Democrat, has taken over the Republican Party, we see the Republican Party uh, now deploying their crazies very effectively as well. And you are going to see uh, between now and November, at least, you're, you're going to see the SJWs of the right come out. For the kids, we have to support Donald Trump to take down the pedophiles.